And when it comes to buying a home, student loans can be tricky, especially nowadays with all the guidelines out there. So I'm going to break them down for you in this week's episode. Hi, everybody. Welcome to More About Mortgages. My name is Ian Moore. I'm a loan officer here with Premier Mortgage Lending. Thank you for joining me. In this week's episode, I'm going to talk about the ever daunting student loans because many of you out there who are either buying a home or in a home already have student loans. A lot of us have student loans, myself included. And when it comes to buying a home, student loans can be tricky, especially nowadays with all the guidelines out there. So I'm going to break them down for you in this week's episode. Student loans when buying a house and looking to get pre-approved, it depends on whether or not, number one, your student loan payments are in deferment. Because if they're not in deferment and you make payments every month and it shows up on your credit report, the lender can use that payment showing on your credit report, which is traditionally the best route because that'll have the lowest payment. Because if you do not have a current payment showing on your credit report for your student loans and they are in deferment with conventional loans through DU, you need to use, or DU is direct underwriter. I won't get into that guys, but DU in LP loan processor and direct underwriter through DU in a conventional loan, you're looking at a full percentage point to use of the total balance of the loan. So if you have an $8,000 student loan and a $5,000 student loan, you're looking at an $80 and a $50 respective monthly payment. However, if you have $80,000 and a $20,000 student loan total balance, you're looking at an $800 payment and a $200 payment. So it can get substantial. Through LP and conventional loans, you can use half a percent instead of a full percent as the monthly payment. So that helps out with qualifying significantly because if somebody isn't qualifying through DU, which is the traditional conventional route to go, then we can swap it to LP, get them in with a half a percentage point as the monthly payment. Now, FHA loans also, through the government anyway, Federal Housing Administration, that's also 1% as the monthly payment if the student loan is currently in deferment or there is not a monthly payment happening because of situations like we're in right now with COVID. Almost everybody, in fact, not even almost, everybody out there's credit report that has student loans is showing $0 for the monthly payment and has since about March, April. Because of COVID, government shut down student loans and is not requiring people to make their student loan payments. So that puts us into a predicament where we're either using 1% or a half a percent as the monthly payment. Same with refinancing, guys. Same rules apply. Government loans, 1%. Conventional loans through DU, 1% as the monthly payment, LP, half a percent. However, guys, if you have student loans and you own a home, you need to contact me right away because right now is the single best time in history to use your equity to pay those student loans off and get rid of them once and for all. Because not only once you pay them off, does that balance get rolled in and consolidated with your mortgage, becomes tax deductible, but you don't have to worry about making those payments anymore. You'll no longer have any student loans, and ultimately you'll end up saving yourself a boatload of money in the long run. So, guys, student loans, huge problem in today's lending business with the mortgage industry. Give me a call today. Be happy to work with you. If you're refinancing, we'll help you save some money and get rid of them. If you're buying a house, we'll get you into your new home in the most affordable way possible here at Premier Mortgage Lending. Thanks for joining me for another episode, guys. Take care.